Good morning, friends. How are we doing today? Happy Monday, everyone. Did you all have a nice weekend? Did you go outside and play? I hope so. I miss you guys so, so much. And I hope that you're enjoying these videos and that you're reading at home, doing as much work as you can, but also getting outside to play for a little bit. All right. Now, today I wanted to read Llama Llama Time to Share. Now, if you have any brothers or sisters at home or cousins or any family members and you've been together for some time, it may be getting a little bit hard to share some of your things. So I figured that we would read this today um, to remind ourselves how we can be nice to each other and share nicely and just work together the best we can. All right? Llama Llama Time to Share by Anna Dudney. So I noticed that there's one name on the front cover. What does that tell you as the reader? If there's only one name on the front cover, that must mean that they did what? Hmm. They wrote the book and they drew the pictures. So Anna Dudney is the author and the illustrator. Llama Llama Time to Share. Here's a little preview about what they might be playing with. Some trains, maybe? Let's see. Llama Llama playing trains, driving trucks, and flying planes. What do you notice about that sentence? Llama llama playing trains, driving trucks, and flying planes. Do you notice what I notice? I notice that there are rhyming words. Trains and planes rhyme. Someone's at the door. Who is it? Brand new neighbors come to visit. And a neighbor is someone who lives next to you or nearby. Llama, this is Nellie New. Look, she has a dolly too. Oh, now just by the title of this book, Llama Llama Time to Share, what do you think may happen? What do you think may happen? Mrs. New, would you like tea? Come and have a cup with me. What do you notice about the words me and tea? I think they rhyme. You two kids can play in there. And Llama, don't forget to share. <gasps> share. I noticed something at the beginning of the word share. S-H. Can you teach me about S-H? What is S-H? A digraph. Good. And S-H says shh, like in share. So the mommies are going to have tea together and they're going off to play. Trains and trucks and puzzles too. What's the new girl want to do? Play with kitchen? Build with blocks? Llama opens up his box. <gasps> blocks and box rhyme. Nellie starts to build a town. Llama Llama starts to frown. <gasps> Show me what it looks like to frown. Good. Nellie New makes walls and stairs. Llama watches from a chair. Uh-oh, what do you think is happening? Nellie is building and playing. And how is Llama feeling? Let's read to find out. Nellie stacks the blocks up high. Fuzzy Llama wants to try. It's a castle, make it tall. Fuzzy Llama jumps the wall. Build a tower, make a moat. Nelly, Nellie's dolly rows a boat. What can Llama Llama add? Maybe sharing's not so bad. There's a fuzzy llama jumping over the wall. Little baby New makes noise. Mrs. New gets jingly toys. Baby screams and kicks his feet. Mama thinks it's time to eat. Moms are talking. Baby's chewing. Where's that new girl? What's she doing? What do you think she's doing? 
How do you think Llama's feeling? Maybe a little bit nervous. Oh, disaster! Dolly drama! What does disaster mean? Hmm, what's a disaster? Nellie New has fuzzy llama. Maybe if something's going wrong or something gets messed up, that's a disaster. He's not hers. This isn't fair. What do you think the right thing to do would be? Yeah, he may be a little upset, but do you think it would be okay if he let Baby New play for a little bit? What would you do? Llama doesn't like to share. I like that the author put these words in big, big letters. So that tells me as the reader, I should yell those words. Llama doesn't like to share. Uh-oh, mom's like, oh no. Oh, what happened? Did they tug too hard? Fuzzy Llama ripped in two all because of Nellie New. It's a llama emergency. Mama, fix his arm for me. Uh oh. I think that that's what his face is saying right here. Uh oh. Did the baby do that on purpose? I don't think so. A bit of thread and good as new. But this is what we're going to do. Look at how they're watching so closely. Thank God for mommies, right? I'll put Fuzzy on the stairs until you're sure that you can share. Nellie, sorry. Llama, too. It's time for something else to do. Do you think that's fair, Mama? To put it away for now? I think that's fair. Maybe tractors? Maybe not. Like to dress up? Not a lot. Let's play kitchen. Make a cake. Nellie mixes. Llama bakes. So they didn't want to dress up and they didn't want to play with tractors, but what did they end up playing with? What did they end up doing? Did they end up baking together? Look, our fancy cake is done. Hmm, what would make this game more fun? Fuzzy Llama on the stairs. Llama thinks it's time to share. I think they're both ready to share. What do you think? Have you ever had a toy that you didn't want to share with anyone? If you did, that's okay. But make sure that you know it's okay to share with your friends. They won't take it from you. Playtime's over. It's the end. But Llama has a brand new friend. So here the mommies are saying, all right, time to go. Just by looking at the... Uh, llamas right here. Do you think they want to leave or do you think they're having so much fun? I think they're having a lot of fun too. Nellie will be back and then Llama wants to share again. Oh that was really sweet. They had a play date and the mommies got to talk and the two kids got to play and they learned a lesson. What do you think they learned after playing together? What do you think they learned after playing together? Maybe that it's okay to share your favorite toys. And if we fight, something may happen. A disaster. Do you remember what a disaster is? When something really bad happens. What was the disaster in this story? What was the disaster with the fuzzy llama? His poor arm got torn off. Poor llama. But then in the end, they figured it would be nice to share together, and then they didn't want to leave. 
All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have the best day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon for another story. Bye! Big hugs from me to you.